Hello dolls and gents, welcome back to my channel and I decided to bring you inside my makeup cabinet to go over some of my summer foundations, my staple foundations, the ones that I'm not going to repurchase anymore and the ones that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to go over my, I guess I'll do the high end ones first. So for high end for the summer, if you're super, super oily and I'm not talking about combination or slightly oily, I'm talking about hellified, super oily. You want to have the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a staple of mine. This is the new one that I have. And this is the one that I'm finishing up. Estee Lauder Double Wear will always be in my stash. The first one that I'm finishing up is Caramel, a Rich Caramel. It's a little bit too dark for me if you're my complexion. It's going to be too dark. And the second one that I bought is 5W1 Bronze, which is perfect. Perfect. So I'm really trying to um, use this one up. And there's not much left in there as you can see okay so number two number two summer foundation for, for me this is all year round but definitely definitely summer i can play in some other things in the winter but not in the summer number two is the lancome tint odelay ultra 24 hour makeup i am in i will put it down below because i don't see my color and there's a sticker over it. So I'm going to have to peel this sticker off to get you guys to color. And it does say shake before use. I shake all my foundations before I use them. Just to shake them up. But this is number two. Number three for me is going to be the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundations. That's number three. This is D66. It is too dark. This was my first time trying Kat Von D. As soon as I use it up, as you can see, um, you know, the pump is moving up. I'm going to buy another one, probably a shade or two lighter. And number three is the Clinique Stay, I'm sorry, number four, Clinique Stay Matte Not Flat. This is a perfect color for me, and this one is 21 Cream Caramel, Clinique Stay Matte Not Flat. Okay, so these are my four high-end foundations. I probably won't, and I'm not saying this as a Bible scripture holding me to it but i probably won't buy any more high-end foundations but those i have tried Too faced i've tried becca if you name it below i'll tell you if i tried it 90 percent of the time i've tried it urban decay naked calvin Klein, low rock you know stilla i've tried them all and for me these are the four that work this mac face and body i am going to bring out during the winter and I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it because I'm just too oily for it. A lot of people say it's drying, it's drying out, whatever. It's, I'm too oily for MAC face and body. I love it. If you're my complexion and you have a problem with MAC turning red on you, C5, thanks to Miss Fine on YouTube, C5 is a perfect color for us. And there is one more that I'm going to purchase in the high end, and that's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I think it's Matte Velvet. I've been dying to try it. I'm going to purchase it. And I'll let you know once I purchase it if I like that or not. But these are my four high-end staples for the summer. The MAC Studio Face and Body, I'm going to bring out during the winter. I've tried it in this 90, 93 degree heat and it's, it's really a no-go for me. Okay, low-end. And once I use these up, I'm not going to repurchase any of the other ones. I'm going to stick to what I know works. There's no sense in wasting money. So I'm going to go out of frame here. Low end number one, L'Oreal Infallible. Um, already finishing one, got another one ready to go. Um, this is 111 Soft Sable, is perfect for me if you're my complexion. And this is the uh, both of these are the matte pro matte. I will not be trying the glow or the other one that they came out with. I will not be trying it, I don't need any glow. Okay. So L'Oreal Infallible Number One Drugstore. Number two for drugstore for me is the Iman Foundation Stick, which I cannot find down here where I am, so I have to order this online once I run out. I'm in clay three. It's a stick foundation. It dries, dries, very it dries. So this is number two for me. This it's in the drugstore, so that's why I have it in the low end, okay? It, I can get it from Target, so that's why. 
So number one is L'Oreal Infallible for low end, extremely oily skin. Number two is Iman. Number three is going to be the Matte Poreless. And this is oil, normal to oily, the Fit Me. This is 332. I already have another one here. Also in 332, it's a good color for me. And this is the normal to oily. And the reason why I have two of these and two of the L'Oreal is because I had to. And then when they have the buy one, get one half off and you can mix and match, I grabbed two more of these to have them. So these are drugstore summer perfect. Drugstore summer oily skin perfect. And last but not least, I'm not going to leave her out because she does get the job done for me. And it is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable. And I'm in warm caramel beige W7. And this doesn't really, it doesn't say oil free or for oily skin, but I do like the way it wears on my face in the heat in the summer. Um, I like it more in the winter, but I do like the way it wears on my face in the summer. Now, some of the ones, I'm sorry, I forgot about this baby back here. This will be, I'm sorry, high end, she's going to be a last resort. Sephora 10 hour wear formula. She's going to be last. It's going to be Estee Lauder, Lancome, Kat Von D, Clinique Stay Matte, and then Sephora for high end. Okay, I forgot about her. And then Sephora. Um, the rest of these up here, um, the CoverGirl D5 True Blend. Once I use it, I'm not going to buy it again. I just don't need to. Um, the... Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. I think I got this in like something to try. Someone sent this to me to try. Um, it's okay, but I'm going to pull it out in the winter. And once I use it, I won't buy that again. I just don't need to. I already have my staples. The CoverGirl Queen um, All Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation uh, would be last. So it is the L'Oreal Infallible the Iman foundation stick, the Maybelline Fit Me, and then the CoverGirl Queen 3-in-1. And as you can see, I'm almost done with that. The CoverGirl Queen 3-in-1. That's me for the summer. Now, the Milani. I'm going to pull this out in the winter, but I will not purchase this again. Um, it just doesn't hold when I say hold for me I mean that I put my makeup on at 6 in the morning and I need to not have to blot my face until like 1 2 if I can push it to 2 and that is what becomes a staple for me so the other ones that don't get me that far I don't need to waste money on it and I'm, I don't want to keep running out buying every foundation that they come out with when they don't work for me and I am super 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 oily and i find that a lot of women that say they're super oily they ain't really super oily because the foundations that they're saying that they're using that stuff ain't holding in this 93 degree weather so i don't know what they're talking about <clears throat> but when i finish the milani i'm not going to purchase it again so when it gets cold i'm going to pull out the milani i'm going to pull out the the l'oreal true match i'm going to pull out the maybelline super stay um and I'm, I'm really going to use those up. These other ones that you see up here, there's three of them. The Nearly Naked. These are my backups to lighten or darken a foundation. These were at the Dollar Tree. And I grabbed two light ones. And a darker one, as you can see, that is really, really, really light. I grabbed two light ones and a dark one. And that is just so it can lighten up or darken up my foundation if I buy something that's too light or that's too dark. So there you have it, guys. I wanted to tell you what my staples would be for the summer for high end and for low end. If you want to know if I tried something, comment down below, and I probably have already tried it. If I haven't, if Sephora has a sample of it, I will go get a sample of it because I'm not purchasing anything else except the Makeup Forever. I think it's matte velvet. It's in a little tube from Sephora. Um, that is the only other foundation I'm purchasing. I am pretty sure I have tried everything else. But if you want to know if I've tried it, comment down below and I'll let you know. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.